Today we're doing a team up with Austin Ryder. Woo! Better known online in the food world as the Devourer. Oh hi, I'm the Devourer. Oh hi, I'm the Devourer. Oh hi, I'm the Devourer. It's hard to say. It is hard to say. Devourer. Oh hi. My name is The Devourer. Nice to meet you. Something that Austin's been able to do is get over 200,000 subscribers on a channel from like the past four years on his gaming channel. We're jealous of that. I'm not a jealous man. No, I just have a lot of feelings. No, I want to have a gaming channel with you. Nope. Okay. <laughs> It would be embarrassing. I just keep getting beat by you in FIFA, and I don't You've been beating the crap out of me. To be broadcast to the world. That's true. That'd be a shameful experience. With all this Twitch stuff now, everybody would see it. Yeah, it'd be sad for me. Two on ones and shit. But today, new to the food game, though. Yeah, he's new you to the food game. You guys go check him out, because he's super new to the food game. Yeah. He doesn't have too many subscribers, but I'm sure he's going to build it up, because he's super awesome. His he knows personality is really cool. He's super funny. Yeah, he knows how to do the whole YouTube thing. He's really a pretty funny and like. Interesting guy to listen to. Seriously, you guys should check his page out. It's pretty awesome. So cholesterol ridden. It's really disgusting. It really is. And I don't even know if I can eat that last wakey bakey one. Today we're going to Mod Pizza. If you guys know Chicago, it's Addison, like the street that Wrigley's on, but way west, all the way out to Western. Yeah. Well, he's got one too, so we're about to both do it up. So this place is really cool because it's like, create your own pizza. You can get whatever you want on it for the same price. Mm-hmm, but very, uh, what do we, we mentioned before, it's a crane remove. A place where you make your own pie. Yep. We give you the dough. You smash it, you pound it, you fling it up in the air, and then you get to put your sauce, and you get to sprinkle your cheese, and then you slide it into the oven. You can't have people just sticking their arms in the oven. You can't have people shoving their arms into a 600 degree oven. It's all supervised. Oh, well. Excited to show you guys this place. It's our first time. We're gonna bring the camera, hope they don't get mad, and go. Two 11 inch pies from Mod Pizza. Speed, style, pizza. You can order yours online at modpizza.com. This video is not sponsored. Acquired, jump, cut. Nice shady day for this, too. Yeah. They liked for my now, pizza shirt. They liked it. Big old cloud. We'll see. Might okay. screw the video up. We'll move it. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. So Corey kind of created his own. So this is. And I went based on one of the ones they had up there and then created. Yeah. Got nervous. <laughs> Oh, did you stick with just that? I think I might have gotten like a couple little things, uh, but I didn't do any drastic changes. I went straight creative style. Yeah, you're more creative than Everything you could get. See, that one. It's looking good, isn't it? Is that yours? That's mine. Okay. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. definitely mine. So what do you got on here? I did red sauce, mozzarella cheese, followed by pepperoni, grilled chicken, bacon, and spicy Italian sausage. On the veggie world, we got jalapenos, Onions, and I think I might be called it a quits with that on my uh, on my veg veggie game. Threw some garlic on there, uh, and then finished it off with a little bit more mozzarella and some parmesan, and then our topper of a uh, sriracha, which is like yeah, a what a great word, sriracha ranch. Sriracha ranch, sriracha ranch, super good. So we got a little bit of everything on there. It's pretty. Oh, and a garlic butter sauce on there as well. So I got sharing. no. Yeah, I got red sure. sauce. This one's kind of more buffalo chicken. So I got chicken with the buffalo sauce, banana peppers and jalapeno peppers. Um, and then there's like some, some Parmesan on here. I got garlic butter all over this baby. And then just, yeah, I mean, it's pretty pretty good. Oh, that looks really good. <laughs> right? I was pretty proud of myself. Yeah, I would be too. Mm -hmm. 
apparently we just went into some sort of an aqua world where it was blue. Uh, blue bubble, dee bubble, 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 I used to think they were saying, I'm blue, I'm in need of a guy, and I'm in need of a guy, and I'm in need of a guy. Kylie thought it was, I'm blue, if I was red, I would die. So that's a bummer for me. <laughs> it was yeah, red. yeah. <laughs> this is Mod Pizza in Roscoe Village. Do you have one of these in your hometown? Cheers. Oh man, this is really good. I mm. love that thin crust. Mm. Ingredients are good too. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is spicy. So Mod Pizza is like if you took a Subway, a Chipotle, and like a... a Domino's or... No, better than a Domino's because uh -huh. the ingredients are better. And like a CeCe's Pizza. Mm-hmm. And combined it and made it mm. better. That's really good. I wonder what the Devourer is getting. I'm excited to see what Austin gets. Oh, hi! I'm the Devourer, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we are devouring Mod Pizza, specifically the Mad Dog Pizza from Mod Pizza, along with <laughs> number six, with cheese. All right, I am not waiting any longer for this. They didn't do that great of a job on cutting this thing. I might, I might have to cut it a bit myself. We really like buffalo sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, everybody in there was super nice. Oh my God. I think we might've met the manager. They were digging the fact that we had did food reviews. Over the top nice, mm -hmm. unbelievable. Probably some of the best customer service I've ever seen. Came around and talked to us. Mm-hmm. You know, when you're putting in that cardio work, those steps, you talk to a couple of bros. Mm-hmm. I respect it. And the enthusiasm mm -hmm. in which he explained how the process works. You fellas ever been here? No, nope. we haven't. Well, let me give you a little breakdown of what we got going on here. This is what you do. And it wasn't one of those pitches where you're like, they all do that. No, it was a very like, like a conversation. There was an energy to it where it yeah. was like, not that guy, not me. Mm -hmm. Like me, I, I work at my job and I've been working so long and I'm so filled with hate there that people ask me questions. You can tell I'm just going through a spiel where I'm just like, this, 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 this. He had an energy, like he actually cared about it. It was mm -hmm. insane. It was awesome. You're dead on. They have a lot of taglines. They're like a number six with cheese thing. So this is, mod is what you make it. Then they have, which is really kind of existential here, simple food for complex times. Is Ooh. this making fun of what's going on in the office right now? Maybe. Listen, we understand we're in some complex times right now, but I want to give you some simple food. Mm-hmm. All the ingredients are super fresh. I saw on the website, every day they like chop all those and stuff. Really? That's like every day is That's fresh. That's why they seem really fresh. Swap. Yankee swap! Yankee swap! That's what makes it fun. Oh, careful. <laughs> this is looking good too. Okay. What was yours called? Your base? It was like a word I couldn't pronounce and I was embarrassed. Yeah. Wanna well, cheers this? Cheers. Mmm. Oh, I like yours a lot. I'll tell you right now, I should have gone with banana peppers on there as well. I didn't even think about that. Well, think about it. You technically did because we're a team. That's true. Yeah, this is really good. There's no I in number six with cheese. Mm-hmm. Well, there is. With has an I in it. A letter. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. You meant E Y E. You meant <laughs> sure the physical. Did. Yeah. Okay. There's no I's. Mm-hmm. There's an I. That doesn't make sense. They have the ice that comes out of the machine that's like the sonic ice, the balls. Oh. It's all those little ball ice. People yeah. go gaga for that shit. Ice, ice, all I like. Oh yeah, I'd be liking this. Dude, you picked a great pizza. You built it. Look at this freaking. it's like normally, because it just got, we got a lot of brightness and there's nothing we can do about it. It's blocked though enough where, now it's just like this weird orange hue. You ever met a guy named Hugh? Hugh Grant? Well, it depends what you, in what sense you mean. I mean, never met oh, him. what's he like? Oh. I don't think I've ever met a Hugh in my life. Not a single one. You know what would be a really good video for us? A versus? Us versus Hugh Grant in a physical battle? Right. Otherwise, it's no fun. What's the point of doing the film? Sippity swap? Uh-huh. And it gives you directions on here. This is kind of cool. I always like when places do this. How to reheat it? Exactly how to reheat it. 550, which is good to know because I would have done less. I would have done 350 probably. Yeah, of course. That's a really hot. Three minutes. Probably because it's so thin. You go super hot, you put it in for a few minutes. And you put it on a cookie sheet. A lot of people wouldn't have done that. Oh, they just do straight? <laughs> it just falls into your oven. Oh, yeah. I always do the sheet. Yeah. Well, I got a, a pizza sheet now. Can I also say uh, um, Are you familiar? a compliment with you real quick? Yes, please. About you? Yes, please. Of all the people I know, you are by far the most skilled in reheating food to mm. where it tastes just as good as it was. That's true, but you haven't met any Hughes yet. 
Mm. So I hear they're good. Hughes are historically great at reheating. They food. tend to be. They tend to be. But we we know we liked each other. We liked each other. And you never know with chemistry anyway. I'm gonna save some of this for later because two pieces is are you, great. For are you real. familiar with the pizza heating tray? I you, you showed me. With the circles in it? Yeah, because it, it's it's almost like, like a the heat cheese goes, grater. Yeah, because yeah. it's hitting the crust too. Because there's nothing worse than the crust. Like mm -hmm. you reheat pizza and the crust is all floppy, but everything else is. You don't like, want it. You don't want no floppiness. No. No, really, ever in anything. Uh uh. Well, spaghetti. I'd prefer my spaghetti to be floppy than hard. That's a good point. Al dente. Al dente. The dentist. I don't know why they say the dentist for. Neither do I. I don't know if they notice it, Mike. What's that stand for? Toledo Mud Hens, baby. Oh wow. Early Christmas present from the old lady. That's also a really sick hat. I know, I love it. It's my first fitted hat. Oh wow, that's a good point. You don't ever wear fitted hats. Uh -uh. I've only bought one hat in my life. Wow. Yeah, so I usually don't have a choice. It's just whatever that one hat that I bought is and the rest that my girlfriend steals or buys for me. Out of five, pizza ovens. How many pizza wow. ovens do you give the 11 inch artisan style pizza today at Mod Pizza in Roscoe Village, Chicago, Illinois? It's such. This is such a difficult choice. It's so insane because there's so many different variations of pizza. You got your fast food type, pizza you got your I don't know if that this is a whole genre the quick cook artisan style like fast fired you got is, a, is a thing yeah because there's some places that do it. it with all that you know I will say this if I'm factoring in speed taste ingredients mm -hmm. those are good criteria. I gotta go pretty high yeah it's definitely above average that's undoubtable I'm not sure if that's a real world uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with a Three out of five. I'm gonna go with the three point four, which is super respectable. In okay. My opinion. Okay. That's a that's a good score. I usually don't go super high. Yeah, you get high. You don't go. I high. get high. I don't go high. <laughs> I'm going with that though. I thought that everything about that experience. That's only eight bucks. I know that I'm not. No, that's you got to when it's so cheap okay. like that. I feel like that's appropriate. An eight dollar pizza. That's like two meals if you're not trying to. I mean, of course I could eat all that right now. Right. But two pieces later, that's gonna heat up really well. I'm gonna give that a four point two five. I think it was cooked perfectly. The it ingredients was. were blasting with flavor. The place in there was. Gr the whole experience was just very positive. Mm -hmm. That is true. So I'm Especially going 4. if you're factoring in customer service. All of it. It was just a great the experience. Customer service is from in the phenomenal. door to done with the and meal. So quick, in and out. I guess I'm just also I'm not a huge. I should disclaimer this with I'm not a. I like thinner crust pizza, but that thin is a little thinner than I prefer. Okay. There is that bit that's like just like mm -hmm. I mean they don't serve that. It's not their fault. For sure. You know what I'm saying? For like, sure. I mean that's not far away from being a tortilla chip. Yeah, that's true. But I still loved it. Yeah, it was I still really loved good. it. it's it just score. not my Four personal preference yeah. in the pizza world. So that kind of affects it a little bit. But it was amazing. Eat it, bitch. It's always good. Like this video, mm. subscribe to this video, get alerts on this video. So when they subscribe to this video, do they get updates just on this video? Every or time. Our whole channel? <laughs> if they get the I don't, every don't time subscribe I digest, to our other videos. If I digest the food, you'll get an update. <laughs> when you go to the bathroom. My, yeah, however much fat this adds to my body, you'll get an right. update. Photos. I have a Fitbit that just sends you updates specific to the food that I <laughs> It's a shit bit. It's a shit hey, bit. how many uh, steps you got in your shit bit today? <laughs> yeah, too many. <laughs>